all right i'm gonna go over my build so this is my main weapons that i'm using i'm using a bow on both the weapons i'm using a boreal augmented a boreal extra nature damage and i'm using a boreal attunement teeny jagged and enchanted on the bow and for the rapier i'm using a boreal attunement vicious and omnidirectional evade um and then for the armor i'm wearing so i'm going to have all resilience on all the pieces and i'm going to have two physical aversion and three elemental aversion and i use the rune glass that gives you the extra range damage so you've got the light head where this got elemental aversion critical retribution and resilience this is the medium chest where it's got freedom freedom physical aversion and resilience uh light gloves freedom elemental aversion and resilience Elemental Aversion, Shirking, Energy and Resilience for the Light Legs and then Freedom, Physical Aversion and Resilience for the Footwear. So I find 3 Elemental Aversion is enough and then the rest into Physical Aversion. And then this is, I'd rather have the Amulet with the extra bit of damage on it but all I can get at the moment is Health and Thrust Protection. So that's what I'm using. You want to stack Thrust Protection as high as you can go and then uh, for the ring i've got thrust damage hardy and invigorated punishment and then for the earring i've got healthy toast refreshing and refreshing toast and i've tried to stack decks as much as i can so i can go to 50 decks and things like opr so you'll see that i've completely stacked thrust damage if i fight anything like a mage in an opr for example i'll just pop the elemental gemstone dust now i do have another set where I have basically these, but I have, instead of thrust protection, I have flame protection, and I put the, uh, is it the rune glass? No, the rune glass, the ruby gems on it, they with the flame protection, so that brings my, that brings my fire damage resistance up to 30%. So you can play around with that a little, so if you're in an OPR with lots of mages, or you're in an arena with lots of mages, or you're dueling a mage, you can just pop that on to give you a bit of extra fire damage resistance i've actually been noticing lately that i tend to do better in opr running this setup than the full fuss protection let me know what you guys think like what kind of resistances you run because i kind of struggle and i play around with it all the time trying to figure out what i like um in terms of uh yeah i use the detonate heart rune uh because yeah i like it <laughs> And then at the moment, I'm playing around with the skills. The rapier skills never change. The bow skills have been changing quite a bit. The rapier skills are essentially using flourish and finish, evade and flesh. So that doesn't really change. With the bow, um, I've switched out for our Reign of Arrows for evade shot because I feel like evade shot is actually really good with jewels. And it also is really helpful for kiting. So I'm using evade shot. I'm using penetrating shot because that helps me animation cancel so that would be the only skill that I don't not use and then um, explosive arrow is the other one that I use so um, those two you can replace like you could put in rain of arrows you could put in rapid shot which hits like a truck but I always going to keep that because that is like our animation cancel animation cancelling being like you go this and I'll, I'll fire then I'll put my finger on the one to do penetration shot, but I won't fire it, and then I dodge, so... Like that. Anyway, so, um, that is the build. Thank you, everyone, and I will, um, see you, hopefully, in, well, with a few more updates on the way, but this will be the last build video anyway. Bye.